Hey everyone, Mtashed here, and if you're anything like me, you've been hoarding some weapons and armor for recalibration in the future, especially when World Tier 5 launches. But if you aren't like me, if you aren't saving items, then you need to start. Maybe you haven't even touched the recalibration system, but it is a great way to optimize your build. However, I might have liked the old recalibration system a little tiny bit better. Now, with the new recalibration system, you can choose a talent that you really like, such as Allegro, and move it on to a different weapon. There is multiple rules that will apply here, and I want to discuss how the hell you recalibrate your stuff and hopefully optimize your damage. You can do it for gear, you can do it for weapons, but one of the big rules is if you're choosing an assault rifle, you can only recalibrate these talents into another assault rifle. If you're looking at, uh, you know, an LMG, you can only recalibrate into an LMG. So that's something you gotta, gotta make sure that you're, um, you're keeping a mixture of items. I mean, I have, <laughs> I've got a hundred guns. I've got a hundred guns in this, right? I got a ton of different guns. I probably don't need this many. You probably only need one or two of each good perk and you'll never really run out. But I do recommend getting a, uh, a large chunk of these guns, a large chunk of these talents, just so that you have your bases covered once the next world tier launches. Now, same thing with armor. Armor has different talents as well, but also attributes that you can trade over. So, while this chess piece has, uh, you know, a fantastic talent that maybe I want to swap over, let's bring that out right now. Maybe something like this one, I don't need these talents. But what I might want is this awesome chunk of headshot damage. So let's discuss how we do that, how we move some of these stats over, how this all works, okay? Let's go over to the recalibration system. Let's go through this as fast as we can, showcase a couple of things. So we're going to start with the weapon. We're going to look at this SMG first. Now this SMG has never been recalibrated. It's never been modified. I can change every single stat on here but there are a couple rules. The first slot is an active slot. Typically, it requires you to do something before it activates. This one is when your armor depletes, you get critical hit damage. There's others such as um, enemies take more damage while burning or whatever it might be. The only abilities that I can change for this one are other active abilities. So, for example, the Fast Hands perk, where critical hits add a reload speed bonus, I'd be able to transfer this over and only one ability. So, once it's been transferred, this is the only slot I can transfer. I'm going to just show you a quick example on my main weapon. Because I activated this slot, this activated one, I, or I, I you know, moved one over, this is my modified slot, and this is the only one I can change now. I can't touch my Allegro, I can't touch my holstered ability, nothing, right? So let's go back to this Covert one, just because it hasn't been optimized. So we could trade out uh, the Strained perk for Fast Hands, but you can also change out what I would consider the Handling perk. There's things like Optimal Range, there's Magazine Capacity, Accuracy, Allegro for some Fire Rate, and you can trade out this one as well, but the same rule applies. You trade it out, it's modified, you can't touch it. And then finally, the last perk on here, which typically you're probably not going to trade out because they're not that valuable, um, you're able to trade these ones out as well. Now, while I say this, if you get the god roll, you might want to save some of these good perks. Rooted, when you're in cover, increases your healing by 25% and your skill damage by 25%. That's a pretty damn big buff to get. If you look at this one, while equipped, skills deployed at full armor have 25% duration, charges, and ammo. So these can be pretty good, but typically you're going to want to move over some of the higher damage dealing stuff on your weapons because they're going to bring more value in more situations. Now let's take a peek at armor because this changes things a little bit. Okay guys, so for armor, there are a lot of the same rules that apply, but there are some different, um, I guess, rules that apply to how many stats can go on an armor piece. Now, I don't know all the values, but I want to showcase this here and, and give you an idea. 
If you look at this, I've got some skill power and 34% damage to elites. A very nice chunk of damage to elites. If you look at this bad boy, I've got 32% as well as a defensive health on kill. On this one, I've got some hazard protection and 35% damage to elites. And so what appears to happen is if you're mixing uh, the red logo and the blue logo, or the blue logo and the yellow logo, those stats can independently roll pretty damn high. But when you match them, typically you get a little bit lower values and there are limits on how much of these stats you can stack. So let me give you an example. On this China light industry, I've got damage to elite and critical hit chance. Both of them are very, very valuable stats to have on different builds. And maybe this is perfect for you. Maybe you need just that little bit of extra crit chance, but you want to get some damage to elites. This is awesome. You're going to get a, a nice, perfect build. But let's say those values are a little too low for you. Well, guess what? We've got 35% we could steal from one of these other ones, right? We've got 32%. We've got 35%. Let's steal it over. What? Capped at 27%? I can only steal 4% more? That feels bad, but it's so that you can't stack absolute god rolls in every slot. If you end up getting the highest damage to elites, you can't also have 10% crit chance. It appears that they, uh, they essentially dumb down the stats if there's multiple of the same you know, offensive type or defensive type. If you only roll one of them, typically you're going to high, uh, have a higher value on it. Now, what about the crit chance? What if we wanted to change out the crit chance? Well, the same rule is going to apply. There's going to be limits on how much you can have on an armor piece. If you look at this, this helmet that I'm trying to trade into, it's got 6.5% as well as a nice chunk of health. This is one of the, uh, the item pieces I use in a lot of builds because it's got two pretty high rolls on both. And, uh, and, and so there's limits. You can't have the god roll of two offensive stats. You can't have the god roll of two defensive stats. Right? Now I'm going to show you that on, a, on another armor piece, uh, for example. I've got one down here. This has 22,000, almost 23,000 armor. Right? Some of these other ones have like 10,000 armor. Because I only have two attributes instead of three, these numbers are getting amped up a little bit. Now, I would argue that the crit chance is pretty low. I've got another one with like 10 or 12%. But this bonus armor is essentially getting jacked up because there's only two abilities. Same thing goes with if you have typically kind of two talents on it, you might find that there's lower stats here. Or if there's a bunch of mod slots, uh, you might have lower status here. So it's going to be a mixture. If you look at something like the uh, the the Alpine Summits, this typically has a little bit less attributes up here, but it's got multiple different mod slots to make up for it. So you are going to notice um, there are some pretty big swinging variations in your stats, but that also means that you can't steal the god roll off of something. If you look at, um, where was it? This bad boy. We're going to use this one to, to test things out to, to look at it, okay? We've got some pretty good stats on here. Bonus armor, crit chance, health, payload, and hard hitting. So if we wanted to trade over hard hitting, we can only trade this over for other passive abilities. We could use vitality, we could use restorative for health on kill. With the active abilities, we're able to trade over other active abilities. It doesn't matter if it's offensive, it doesn't matter if it's other defensive ones, it doesn't even matter if it's a skill-based one like Mad Bomber. That's the nice thing about these active abilities is as long as it's an active ability, you're good to go. It doesn't matter what stats are on it. Just make sure you can actually use <laughs> these different ones. And then again, for the stats, there will be limits on what you can get here. Now, if you look at my health here, um, I actually have a chess piece right there that's got 11,500. So this is, you know, 1,400 extra health. If I try to trade that over, I actually get the full amount which is pretty nice if I want to optimize things and get a little bit more HP. I'd be able to steal this full amount of health and, uh, and be very happy with that. If we look at the critical hit chance, and I wanted to trade over... Where's one? There's, there's one. 7.5% critical hit chance. I can only steal 6.5% of it. 
which is shitty. I can't get the full amount, but again, these limits are in place so that you can't have this um, a crazy god roll in every single slot, I think. Now, the interesting thing about this is I could also trade critical hit chance for, for headshot damage. You don't have to have the exact same stat. And so if you're looking at this one, I've got wet, uh, weapon damage, headshot damage, crit damage. I could trade it out for any of these. Now, there's going to be limits on how much you can have. Weapon damage is more valuable, somewhat like crit chance. And so weapon damage is going to be capped a little sooner. Headshot damage, I get 10%. And critical hit damage, I get the full 9%. So if you already have maxed out critical hit chance, you might want to slap on, you know, one of these other stats to boost your damage. Same thing goes with, um, like, defensive stats, but typically on armor, there's only bonus armor and bonus health, right? Well, some of the other ones where there's, like, hazard protection, I'm pretty sure you can switch it out for, for other stuff. But look at this bonus armor. So I've got a, a pretty high roll on this bonus armor. I am going to get hit with that limit. So 12,992. I, I can't go above that on this armor piece. My other stats are too high. You know, I've got this other one here with 22,000, right? I'm still hitting that same armor cap. So this is another thing you need to look at. If you have an absolute god roll on armor like this, this is, this is something I'm going to use for an armor build later down the road because it's got so much armor. I don't want to throw this away to gain, you know, 2,000 armor. If I'm going to be sacrificing armor and hitting the cap... I want to use something that's got a lower amount, like this, right? I don't want to be just giving away a huge amount of armor that uh, I could be using for a different build. So definitely make sure to pay attention to that. Same thing goes with this, right? I've got the crit chance here. I don't want to throw away something that's got 10% crit chance, right? I, I'm, if I'm going to do this, i got to do something that's got like 7 or, 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 or 6 6.5 optimally, so that I'm getting that full amount and I'm not wasting those stats. Okay? That's pretty much all you need to know about recalibration. The only other thing is this crafting bench is a, is a baiter. It's a master baiter. If you craft some gloves here, and you've got an awesome bonus on here, you've got maybe a cool ability, let's say you make the improvised ones and you've got a, a random talent, you cannot recalibrate this. You cannot change it, and you cannot steal these perks for another. I was trying to craft a bunch of gloves to get a particular talent because I want to test it, but I can't even steal that talent if I end up getting it. So crafting right now is essentially a random roll factory. You want to try to get a random roll that's really good and, and just keep it. So the main thing you'd want to be looking for with this would be like, high base damage that would be like the most important thing and then hopefully the talents are good but right now crafting is pretty useless and you cannot use any of the stuff in here with random talents or anything like that uh to recalibrate your gear that's it for me hopefully you guys enjoyed hopefully this helped you out a little bit and good luck in the future with recalibration talk to you guys soon Bye bye